yes i did that and you would do it too for a check they were like yes we want to work with you and i was like oh what i quit my nine to five i did it to pursue my passion to be a full-time content creator Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. And like my backdrop, y'all remember this? Yeah, y'all, I don't burn out the crevices for this video. Cause we finna get into it. Can y'all believe that we really here at this point of our life? Cause I can't believe it either. The way I was just nervous just to come on here and really tell y'all is kind of crazy because Y'all really been rocking with me for a while now. The decision that was made was out of love, motivation, and dedication, okay? So as y'all can tell from the title, y'all already know what y'all are here for. And most likely y'all already know what the announcement is. Yes, I did that and you would do it too for a check. I quit my nine to five. Wait. Stop the motherfucking music. I did it to pursue my passion to be a full-time content creator. Yeah, yeah. It's been about two weeks. Yeah, because I quit on the 11th. It is the 21st. So I just want to start off by saying for those who already knew, Thank y'all for y'all uplifting words and y'all encouragement. Before we even get into all of that, I actually really want to thank God for putting me in this position and for allowing me to speak, you know, to other people and tell my story and just, you know, put breath in me to continue to do what I gotta do. And thank you to my man and my man. Thank you to my... No, for real though. Since we've been together, we've always, you know, known that this is a hobby of mine, but this was something that I was passionate about. And it's two things, maybe, maybe it's like three, but it's two things that I can list on the top of my head that I'm really passionate about. And one is being a content creator because it just allows me to express myself and two, going into my career and being a psychologist because that's been something I've been passionate about since I was little. And I just, I have the desire to want to help people. And I have the desire to be bigger than myself. But I can't believe I really got up here on the internet and, to and just told y'all I quit my nine to five. Like, I would sit up here and act like I'm sad about it, but I'm not really sad because at the end of the day, if I felt like, you know, I want to go out and get another job, y'all mind your business if y'all see me at another job. But if I wanted to get another job, I could go get another job. But y'all got to understand, like, I've been working for so long. I've been working for so long. And it's not like I'm working a corporate job or anything, making salary. I'm working, you know, these regular degla jobs. I'm not saying that it's wrong, something wrong with these regular degla jobs, but I, I just felt like I came to a point in my life where it was just like, what do you want to do, Kay? What do you, like, where do you want to go? Where do you see yourself going? And being at, you know, Walmart, Amazon, Lowe's, like just being at those type of jobs is not somewhere I see myself being in the next five years. I just don't. And a lot of jobs tend to not understand that people want more for themselves. I think they don't be understanding because they come across a bunch of employees that work the jobs for like five, six, 10, 20 years of their life. And that's just not me. That's just not for me. Kudos to the ones who made, you know, their nine to five into a career. Kudos to the ones who stuck it out because that's what they wanted to do or they didn't have no choice. But I felt like I didn't have a choice. 
like just like y'all felt like y'all don't have a choice and y'all gotta stay you know at the job i felt like i didn't have any choice i needed to leave and what i mean by not having a choice it was either sacrifice my happiness and my creativity the thing about money is you can always make it i'm never gonna be in a position where i feel like i'm not gonna know how to support my kids you know i always kept trying to get to where i wanted to be and i'm not saying like right now is where i want to be i'm still obviously working to where i want to be i'm taking the initiative step into doing what i want to do i remember about five six years ago it was after freshman year college and i had wanted to do like youtube and i wanted to do youtube in the inspiration of nia imani and i'm a put her YouTube name on the screen. But it was a YouTuber who went to Hampton University and I wanted to be like her. She was a natural hair advocate as well as college girl advocate. Like she was just very positive. Whatever I saw in her, that like sparked my passion. I said, hmm, I wanna do YouTube. I wanna be on social media. I wanna make a name for myself. Been Kay Golden for like seven years now, maybe maybe a little longer than that. I branded K Golden seven years ago though. I sat down, no ring lights, no camera, no microphone, no nothing. I sat down in my mother's kitchen with a phone, um, it was an iPhone 6 at that, and some books to hold my phone up, and I started recording. I had no knowledge of graphic designing, which I taught myself that by watching other people do their videos and how they edit and recorded my video. And then I went ahead and edited it and I put it out there. So I created a freshman um, year do's and don'ts advice video. And because I wanted to pay it for it and to um, put my opinions and advice out there to help the next person, right? And I'ma just link, I'ma put the video right here. When I put that video out there, it was a lot of people who reached out to me who end up going to my university and telling me that they video helped them their freshman year or they video uh, or that video helped them decide to go to my school and when i was getting all those positive messages about my video it drove me to a point where i was like this is what i want to do passionate enough to keep trying to post i just couldn't keep up because you know life was happening school was happening on youtube for about an inconsistent of five years. It might have been only one and a half year that I was consistent. And then, you know, life happened, I fell off again. But I decided to get back on and this time I'm not stopping. I know it's gonna be a lot of people that have all their opinions and what they, you know, want from me and what they think I should do, but I'm, I'm not gonna listen. Recently, since I've been back on YouTube, I have the most outpour support from a lot of my friends, strangers, and everything, and I really do appreciate it. I don't know the outcome of doing this. I don't know where I'ma be in the next five years doing this, but it's a journey that I'm willing to, it's a journey that I'm willing to like start and finish and like just, you know, keep going. Y'all locked so. in right now, y'all locked in forever. Like, we can only go up from here. So thing I really wanna talk about is, I know y'all probably asking, Okay, so how has it been so far? Basically, I was up on TikTok, right? And you know, I'm always making videos and stuff, doing all these videos. I'm just like, I wanna work with some brands. I wanna work with some people. Like, I need some sponsorship. I wanna be partnering with people because I need more exposure. Y'all, I had found out that I'm a micro-influencer. Like, I was like, oh, snap. I didn't even know I had a little name, you know, like a little name and stuff. The girl, you was a micro-influencer, and yes, we want to work with you. And I was like, ooh, what? So I was looking at a bunch of videos about being brand ambassadors, you know, how to grow your social media, Googling, you know, how to grow your Instagram. What do you need to do to, um, like, content strategy and marketing? So I just been um, doing that. And while I was doing that, I was putting myself out there. So in this part of the video, I kind of explained it wrong, but basically I emailed the companies that I wanted to work with 
that was the tip right there. You could pause the read. And then they had basically reached out um, if they wanted to move forward and work with me. I also want to note that when you are DMing the company via Instagram, your message does not have to be long to them. Just basically explain who you are and why you want to work with them. Some of them you don't have to reach out to. Like, they're, they'll reach out to you. Once you start putting yourself out there, which since I had quit my job, I've been making content, like dropping content after content after content after content. And I've been emailing and I've been commenting and following. And I was just been, I just been putting myself out there. See, I don't want to include like all the, cause I should be a separate video because I want to make a video about how to get started influencing and how to get started to be a brand ambassador and i'm not going to like go into all the details because to make this video way too long i've been working with some companies and it's been great now the big announcement is that i've landed my first big brand company let's get a little drum roll I'm a brand ambassador for Bubble. Bubble is a skincare company. You can find it at Walmart, Ulta. Really, I see them a lot at Ulta and stuff. The stuff is so cute, bubbly, and aesthetically pleasing. We do look forward to sharing what to bring to the table for that company, as well as getting that company more exposure, as well as getting myself more exposure. So, um, also a brand ambas ambassador for Rebirth Clothing. This is what I got from Rebirth Clothing. Hold up. Okay, hold up. Just did that. So, this is the hoodie. It's in a size medium. I got a bun in my head, so I'm probably not gonna be able to zip it all the way up. If y'all know me, Y'all know I like a good hoodie. Once the weather break, y'all gonna be seeing me in this hoodie a whole lot. Use my code, you get 20% off. So I don't wanna hear, oh, I don't have the money. I don't have the, because now you got a little discount. And this, I think this is from Face Me. I'm not sure, but I know they said they were sending me something. And I'm gonna unbox it. And it is. Hold on. Get them out the package. Oh, this is so cute. Hey. Nice and soft. And make sure y'all shop with me on my Amazon storefront, which is also in the description box below. So oh, if you made it to the end of the video, you already you already know. You're a star. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me and continuing to give me your um, utmost support and love. And I, like I said, I really do appreciate it. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as hit the bell button to get notified every time I post. Thank you for all the support and see you in the next video. Bye. Gotta fly,